What we have here is a new laser capture micro dissection instrument. And what it is going to enable us to do is to go in and isolate single cells from living tissue and analyze the genetic component of the basis of life, the single cell, and ask how does an event in that cell contribute to the overall development and processes within plants. So my lab is most interested in disease resistance signaling in plants and we are asking, I mean, you, you have to take, as I was saying earlier, a systems biology approach. You want to know how an interaction with a pathogen or any organism is affecting the plant either through its development, its physiology, its reproduction, etc. Uh, what my lab is interested in is the cellular processes in plants that respond to pathogen attack. And so what we, um, what we began with, most of our projects in the lab are looking at events within single cells, whether it's reorganization of the cell during a pathogen attack. So you can think of a, of a cell during a pathogen attack much like a fortress. Uh, when you have a, a pathogen attacking one portion of the cell, that the host cell, the plant cell, responds dynamically to that attack at that specific location, reinforces its boundaries there, and, uh, and, and can hopefully fend off the pathogens. So my lab is going to be very interested in looking at what's going on in a single cell, and more importantly, how does a single cell that's infected communicate to the rest of the plant that, hey, we're under attack, get ready, next door neighbor, guy down the road, let's get ready, there's a pathogen that is attacking me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I will die as a result of this, but the next cell. And so this the cell to cell communication is a very important event in development of all organisms, whether it's plants, animals, insects. Uh, cells have ways of communicating uh, both in close proximity to one another as well as long distance communication. So this is going to allow my lab to start looking at how plant cells communicate and really how that signal originates within that first cell. Part of the impetus for us getting the microscope was really a need to link cell biology and the new push that we have on campus for genome-based technologies. Uh, we have a very strong uh, microscopy facility here, extremely strong uh, genomics facility here. What we're able to do is to link the two essentially. We come to the Center for Advanced Microscopy here, we look at an event within a plant, uh, for example, um, endosome transport or organelle movement. And we can then capture these events using the laser capture microdissection or LCM instrument and then go to the research and technology support, support facility, uh, RTSF, and then ask what is going on at the genetic level in that cell uh, that could be correlated with those events that we've seen here.